Welcome back. We're going to pick up where we left off in our previous session and where we learned how to set up our stack. In this one, though, we're going to learn how to set up our chug jaws. Now, to do so, we're going to come over here and make sure our left spindle is uh, highlighted. Remember, if you choose left spindle over here in stack, you're going to want to choose left spindle for the chug jaws as well. You don't want a right spindle used for a right uh, for a left spindle stack. So let's go over here to properties and left click on properties. I'm going to move my dialog box a little bit up. And same thing over here, there's a core tolerance. We're going to keep all our core tolerance to be 0 0.001 and you can set up your the color for it as well. I will keep it the same. Over here on profile, you can have the chance to either uh, highlight uh, parameters or uh, highlight chains. And I'll show you what I mean by those. Now we're going to have to highlight, click on this button right here to be able to highlight chain or click on parameters over here. And we're only going to be worrying about the parameters in our, all our exercises. So for here, the only thing we're worried about or we want to make sure that we choose is the clamping method. The clamping method, as you can see, it shows you in every OD number one, number two, how the clamping methods are. Now for us we're going to use OD clamping method OD number one which is going to be grabbing our stock from the OD of the part as you can see per picture. Now for this one, for the next one OD number two, you can see it's grabbing the part on the inside so the part is actually going into the uh, chuck a little bit. And every one is a little bit different so if you keep going you can see how, how your chuck is set up and there's also uh, positions of how the chuck is, how far you want it in, or you can actually choose two points where you want your, how you want your jaw to be set up. Now for all of our exercises, we're going to keep the defaults up, but, and we're going to choose OD number one for our first exercise. So let's keep it at that. Come over here to position, and let's enable from stock and grip on maximum diameter, which means it's going to be on the outer diameter. It's going to be gripping it from the outer diameter from that stock. Now for the grip length let's change that to about uh, you can either change it to about a half an inch or one inch I'm gonna change it to one inch and what that will do is will grip from the left side it will be gripped one inch from the left side into the part so it's still not gonna be grabbing our geometry of course but it's gonna be grabbing that stock one inch from the left side. Now to preview it come over here to preview lathe boundaries Left click on it and you'll see that this is our stock. I'm going to click on fit the screen so you can see it a little bit better and then zoom out. Now to move your sketch left or right just on your arrows on your keyboard just move it. Move it to the left side and it will move to the right. Your drawing moves to the right. L click on the bottom and it will move to the top. So the arrows are actually reversed. As you, There you go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You can see our uh, uh, chuck is one inch into the part and there's our second inch right here because remember we added two inches extra so now we have one inch room of extra so we can come over here with our tool and machine it down all the way if we need to so there we go it says over here press enter to continue so go ahead and press enter and it goes back to the dialog box so there we go just click on the check mark and we go back to our uh, dialog box for the machine group properties now if I come over here you can actually see display options, the left stock, left chuck, and right stock. That, those are the ones that we have uh, highlighted. And if we want to not see, if we don't want to see them in our uh, graphical area, all we have to do is uncheck these arrows. And we learned about tool clearance in our previous tutorials, in our introduction tutorial. So there we go, we're actually done with this um, uh, chapter. So click on with this session, so click on the check mark, and there you go. So in this one, you set up your, in the previous session, you set up your stock, and in this session, you set up your chuck. So you got both of those set up, so you can see it while you're machining, you can see what's happening in your part. So you can always make sure that you don't have any interferences with your tools. That's something that you have to do outside of MasterCam. You have to know your tools and know your chuck and uh, set up the real chuck that you have with the real tools that you have of course so you can be as precise as possible without having any surprising interferences between the stock and the chuck of course. And there we go, we're concluded with the setup of the stock and the chuck in this uh, session and we're ready to start creating our toolpath.